Alamo Biscuit Company and Panaderia is San Antonio's premier spot to grab a southern classic with a twist. Like a fried shrimp and grits biscuit. All of their biscuits are rolled out and made fresh every hour. They get baked, cut open, and packed full of delicious southern favorites. This one right here is the fried shrimp and grits biscuit. Look at that one. It has a, the mama salsa. has a little bit of sausage in it. We also have cheddar poblano grits on this bad boy. Look at that. That's a beast right there. And you got this gorgeous biscuit that came out with it. Still nice. Everything's just piping hot when it comes out to you. Look at that. Steam still coming off. If you don't come out here and eat this fried shrimp biscuit with grits on it, you're doing something wrong. I'll tell you that. This is get it on your nose and you don't care. <laughs> what a biscuit. The biscuit joint is a concept created by Sangria on the Berg chef Cesar Zapeda and former chain franchisee John Vale. Put her up! My friend John called me and he's like, man, I'm, I'm closing down this other concept. I would love to do something like this. And I, man, and he, immediately I was like, yes, this is something that I think it's a vessel. It's a beautiful vessel for anything you want to do. So that's very, that's very me. And San Antonio needed it. Honestly, that's the main thing. There wasn't one. We thought about where do you get business? Nothing came to mind. So that's what we want to make. It was amazing. It was great. I've been waiting a really long time for a biscuits and gravy place. It's, it's just been my favorite dish for a while. So it's. It's like really convenient that they made one of these. Coming up, we dig deep into the menu at the Alamo Biscuit Company and go inside a burger spot that is earth friendly. Oh my goodness, y'all. This tastes amazing. Elder Eats will be right back. The Alamo Biscuit Company and Panaderia is San Antonio's premier spot to grab a southern classic with a twist. The presentation and the food is delicious. This right here is the bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit sandwich that you can get when you come out here. Comes a little flag too. That's a little memento you get to take home and you can put it somewhere else. All the biscuits are made fresh in house. Everything prepared fresh on the line for you. And just look at that. That's a monster sandwich, man. And it's just biscuit, baby. That's a lot of biscuit. Here we go. I'm taking a bite. This is a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit sandwich. It's exactly what you want it to be, and it's fantastic. And that biscuit is really, really good. This one right here is the sausage, egg, and cheese sandwich. Great presentation on it as well. A little biscuit cap to put on top. Let's just squish that one down. Biscuit, once again, just outstanding. Every time, really good. The biscuit, once again, just outstanding. Every time. I highly, highly recommend this brisk, uh, this brisket taco, man. It's some good stuff here. The restaurant is serving a fresh pan dulce made every morning and huge cinnamon rolls that are smothered in icing. And of course, if you're feeling like something sweet, they got you covered. They have a whole panaderia there on the side. They're making all kinds of different pan dulce, but one of them that you know you got to get your hands on is the huge cinnamon rolls that they got out here. I'm gonna rip into this bad boy. Beast mode. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Look at the inside of this thing. It's hot, it's gooey. Perfect ratio of sugar and cinnamon on the inside. Look at that. It's squishy. You could rest your head on it like a pillow. Got the huevos rancheros biscuit. It was really good. I've uh, been all around the world in the army, and this is probably the best place so far. The Alamo Biscuit Company is located near USAA in the medical center, and is the perfect spot for your next brunch outing. Grandma or mom made them, so it makes you think of something that you grew up with. So that's how it is for me. Things that I grew up with, it's like I want them, and it just takes you back somewhere. Now, we're headed off Nacogdoches and 410 for a burger joint that is earth friendly. This is Earth Burger. Earth Burger's been around for a couple of years and they've made quite an impact on the Central Texas burger scene. Earth Burger's the best. I love the ice cream, the coconut syrup. There's like no dairy in it, and so it was really good. I loved it. And now they're launching a brand new menu item the Ranchero Burger. Crazy. 
crazy. This is actually, so the meat on here is called Beyond Meat, right? Which it, it's not using any kind of animal proteins, but there's a ton of protein actually packed inside of each one of the patties. And then you have fried pickled onions on this thing. This is the Ranchero burger, and then some sauce on there as well. And that's two patties of goodness right there. Now, I guarantee you it's gonna be messy. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness. Oh my goodness, y'all. This tastes amazing. And I swear, you wouldn't even know that it's not actual animal protein being used in the burger. The flavors are fantastic. The sauce, you put that on a bowl of cereal, it's going to be delicious. All the fried elements in there are great textures. The buns are nice and toasted on there as well. Everything just wants to fall out. This is a messy burger, but you know what? If it's not messy, it's not delicious. I'll tell you that. I'm going to take another bite. Delicious cheese melted perfectly on top of there as well. This is what you need to get when you're coming out here. Earth Burger has a lot of Earth-friendly items on the menu, including their charitable. The least we can do as a business is donate a dollar of these bowls to these local nonprofits. We'll continue to uh, alternate through these nonprofits as we go through the years and selecting ones that kind of coincide with what our mission is. It comes with their chicken, right, which is a, a meatless chicken uh, kind of protein that's on here. And then they have all kinds of different veggies on there. So here's the Poblano Ranch. And I'm just gonna pour that bad boy right on top. So I'm gonna get a little bite of everything, I'm gonna try to. My goodness. So you guys gotta come out here, Earth Burger's newest location right here at 410 in Nacogdoches. Delicious food, and there's options that you can also give back to the community as well when you buy one of the items out here. Delicious burgers. I mean, this thing tastes like an actual burger burger. You'll be tricked, I promise you, and it's a really great alternative to consuming all that animal fat and cholesterol. Fantastic stuff. And everybody's really sweet here. There's actually like, just a lot of <laughs> really sweet people. And I promise there won't be a mess from David well, when you come out here. But come out here and get this stuff, man. It's delicious. Coming up, we go inside a new barbecue joint with a Cajun twist and a food truck park to talk about a fun event for the whole family. So don't go anywhere. Elder Eats will be right back. Two Two Five Urban Smoke is a brand new barbecue shop here in San Antonio with a Cajun twist. They have a ton of stuff on the menu, including their Nashville hot chicken sandwich. That's big. You better come hungry when you're getting the sandwich. Big old piece of chicken covered in their house-made Nashville hot sauce, and then you got the pickles, house-made ranch. This looks amazing. Here we go. That's the real deal. I'm gonna go eat this over here. <laughs> My rule is to take one bite of things and don't eat the rest. I will break that rule for this sandwich. This is uh, this is special. Plus, they have some southern delicious fried catfish. So when you make your way out here to 225 Urban Smoke, it's not just barbecue. They're taking a whole different approach to it using Cajun cuisine. Now check this out. This is southern style catfish, and it's served with tartar sauce, fries. You got your lemon on the side because that's just the way it's supposed to come. Now look at this. Now if it comes with a lemon wedge, you got to use it. So you got to just cover it in that lemon. Oh my goodness. This is all right here. This is all a, a cornmeal uh, batter, right? This is, corn, this is all cornmeal. And as you can see right there, nice, fresh American catfish right there. And I'm gonna dip that right into this house-made tartar sauce. And I can tell you, if you had smell of vision right now, oh, it just smells so good. But here we go. The catfish is nice and clean. Great texture to it, cooked perfectly. The exterior is nice and crunchy, but it's still very light. And it's holding up really, really well. The tartar sauce is insane though. You're gonna to wanna to take that home. Ladies might sneak that off in your purse or something when you're heading out. It is delicious. They're serving up some tasty barbecue. This is a whole platter that they have available. You get sausage, ribs, brisket, and chicken. And now everything is smoked with a, it's a mesquite pecan blend, okay? So you get a little bit of each flavor on there. But I'm gonna go after this brisket. That just looks mean. Check that out. Has a nice smoke ring around the edge right there. You got a nice bark. Holds up on its own weight, but when you pull on it, it just comes right apart. That's all you want with it. <laughs> that is really good brisket, man. The bark is exquisite. Like, it's perfectly salty. The meat is super tender. Close it down, y'all. 
We should close it down. <laughs> and they have some killer fish tacos. Now this is a blackened fish taco that they're serving up with blackened catfish, cabbage slaw, cilantro, and some comeback sauce, y'all, because you're gonna come back for it. There you go. And a little bit of pico de gallo on top of that, too. Man, you're hitting the, this is really good. <laughs> I haven't had good fish tacos in a while. This is really good. Y'all gotta come out here, 225 Urban Smoke, right here off Ritterman Road. Brand new restaurant here in San Antonio. Packing all kinds of Cajun flavors, all combined with a Texas barbecue twist. Amazing stuff. Nashville hot chicken, the catfish, the brisket, these beignets and everything else. I mean, it's all good and you need to come try them out. I tell you what, if you're not out here really quick, the line's gonna get long, so you better be the first one. This is amazing food, y'all. Coming up, we take you inside of a food truck park to talk about an event that's gonna be fun for the whole family. So don't go anywhere. Elder Eats will be right back. Elder Eats, well located right here off Austin Highway is a food truck park that is serving up some delicious food and a comfortable space, perfect for the whole family. It's called Street Fair SA, and with me today is Dakota Day. He's the owner and operator of the spot out here. Thank you so much for having me out here today. Yes, for coming out. This is really a, just a gorgeous space, but you were actually telling me a little bit earlier about kind of the history of what this all was before. So what was this actually before it was a food truck park? The lot was just, I mean, it was an empty lot. I think in the 70s it was a motel, but it has been uh, an empty lot ever since then, so. And now, I mean, to transform from a 70s motel into what we see today, this is pretty cool. Yeah. So what was the idea behind that? Why a food truck park? In college, I will always loved food trucks, and so um, when I moved down to San Antonio, we saw this property and we thought that this would be a great property to uh, build a first class food truck park in San Antonio. First class, <laughs> top of the line, that's the only thing you're gonna get here. When people come out here, of course it's family friendly, but there's also something for the adults. You actually have a wine and beer section right over here. So tell me a little bit about that. So we have our Airstream bar. It was a, it's like a converted 1975 uh, Airstream trailer. Um, and inside the Airstream, we have uh, eight taps of draft beer and uh, many, many more bottled and canned beers, as well as many bottled uh, wines and also uh, wine-based margarita. Oh, wow. So in case you need that fresh margarita to pick up your day, right, you're going to have mm -hmm. that wine-based margarita ready for you. But do you have any uh, special events coming up? Anything big? Yes, we do. On the June 7th through uh, June 9th, uh, we have the SATX uh, Food Truck Festival. Oh, nice. Yes. So what, what's going to be a part of the festival? And so each day we're going to have eight food trucks along with our uh, Airstream bar serving uh, beverages. And we will have live music uh, the whole uh, event. We will also have, for the kids, we'll have uh, two bouncy castles, uh, also balloon artists and face painters for the kids as well. So you're gonna have this great event coming up out here. Like I said, rotating food trucks, so you make sure you come out here and you're gonna get a little bit of taste of something different every day. And we actually have one here today, Bob and Timmy's, which is a pizza truck that's actually grilling pizzas, is that correct? Yes, they do grilled pizzas. They make it uh, different, the crust is uh, thinner. Uh, but they have their own little uh, spin on everything, and it's, uh, it's, they're here uh, six days a week when they're open. They're open here too, and um, everybody seems to like them. So. Well, we're gonna have to give them a try. And look at that, a little bit of magic. We got some food and drinks in front of us now. Toyota, thank you so much for having me out here. Yep. You guys gotta make sure you come out June 7th through the 9th. All the times and everything I posted right there on the screen. And you guys, it's gonna be a fantastic time. Revolving food trucks every day. So it's gonna be a little something different. And of course you can have a lot of fun. It's a family friendly spot. And to get more information on Street Fair SA, you can head to their website, www.streetfairsa.com. You know what the easiest part is though? You can just follow them on social media, Facebook. You can go on Twitter, Instagram. You get all the information you need for the upcoming event and so much more. What do you think Dakota, man? I mean, I think we gotta, we gotta try some of this food though, right? Oh yeah, here we go. I'm gonna try some of this pasta right there. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Elder Eats. Big shout out to Earth Burger, Alamo Biscuit Company, and of course 225 Smoke. They are a delicious barbecue place that's opening up here in mid-June. You guys gotta check them out. And of course Street Fair, they have an event coming up, so make sure that you guys check out all the information you need to go out. And I'm gonna be there uh, coming up this weekend, so make sure you check it out on Sunday. I will be there. And thank you again so much for watching, and look out for next week, a brand new episode of Elder Eats premieres next Thursday at 1.30.